February, we're going to be talking about self-love and style and how you can add a little bit of self-care to your day when it comes to what you wear. So I'm going to talk about my favorite thing in the world, spending time by myself. I have this phrase and it's a little tacky, so I'm not sorry, but I call this master dating. Get it? Because it's like yourself and it's okay. So I like to take myself out on dates. I think that a lot of people put their lives on hold and they get wrapped up in the idea of like the guy has to plan a date. My husband and I have very similar interests, but I don't always want to do the stuff he wants to do and vice versa. So here's what I do to take myself out on a date. For instance, there is a new French restaurant that just opened in town. They had vegan options on the menu and I was so excited because I've been learning French. And I wanted to put that to the test. It's run by a French family. It's, um, you know, it's incredible. The food was really good, by the way. So I wanted to get dressed up in a an outfit that made me feel like I was fancy and French. So I wore like French designers head to toe because you know I love a theme. And I went and took myself out. But it was a ritual. So I want to break down my master dating ritual and how style plays into that. So one... Pick something that you want to do. Maybe it's going to a concert. You're afraid to go by yourself. Maybe you want to try a new restaurant, whatever. So in my instance, it was this French restaurant. So I knew my husband was going out of town. I wouldn't have to tell him what I was doing or where I was going. And I am just, you know, thinking like, okay, what am I going to do? Is it going to be weird to go by myself? Mm, I don't know. So I decided to make a themed playlist. This is step one, set the tone of getting ready. So my playlist had um, Carla Bruni. I love her. If you guys don't know her, she's my style icon. Carla Bruni and Jane Birkin and Brigitte Bardot and all these people. And I put them on a playlist on YouTube and I let it go in the background while I was getting ready. I bought myself some flowers. I bought myself a nice candle that I just burned the entire time that I got ready. And I sat down and I did my makeup. I normally do my makeup just in a towel or honestly butt naked or in my pajamas sitting on the floor of my bedroom because I've got a big mirror, very similar to that one. But I thought I have all this amazing lingerie that I have from Laura Intamins and I've got Solstice and I've got Cosabella. I'm going to put some on. So I put on my cute little, um, it's from Solstice. It's like a, it's a bodysuit and it works as functional underwear, but it's gorgeous. So I put that on and I put my silk robe on over it and I did my makeup and I took my time getting ready. I did my hair It always ends up looking like this, so I don't know why I bother, but I did my hair and I I romanced myself. I had some sparkling water. I made it a whole thing. And then I got in my car and I went into the restaurant and they said, oh, table for one. They said it in French. Oui. So I sat down and I had the most incredible dinner by myself. I didn't look at my phone. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed speaking to people. I enjoyed working on my French. And when I came home, I had made sure my house was clean and I took everything I was wearing off and my outfit. I need to post a photo of it because it was all French designers and I was so proud of myself. So I hung my blazer up and then I hung my top up and my jeans and my bag and I put it all back where it goes because we know having an organized closet is a form of self-care. Put it all back, got into my nice pajamas because we all have the crappy pajamas, but I've started to invest in pajama sets because I feel like it's just nicer and more luxurious. So I got into my pajama sets and I put myself to bed with a nice cup of tea. I made that in my nice little china cup. So not my cracked Fiesta wear or my Beatles mug, made it in my nice china and then did my face mask. I did a little like skincare routine and put myself to bed. And I realized I had waited so long for someone to do that for me, to show up with flowers and to uh, make reservations and to do all of these things when I could be giving them to myself. And I think that a lot of relationships we get into with the expectation that are a little unrealistic. And my husband doesn't know that I want to do this stuff. I've told him before and he goes, oh, I never would have thought about that. So now he's suggesting we go. But I I wish that I did this more when I was single because I feel like I missed out a lot on experiences because I waited on someone to take me. So when I got dressed, I looked in the mirror, I looked at myself in my bodysuit and I appreciated everything about myself. I made eye contact in the mirror and I said my affirmations and I put on my cute outfit and I felt so confident because I put the extra bit of time to take care of myself and then did something that I wanted to do. 
So if there's something that you're just dying to do, but you can't find someone to go with you, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to invest in some high quality undergarments, not this Target stuff, put, buy yourself some lingerie, buy yourself some flowers, put a candle on, put a whole, I actually, I'm going to make you guys a playlist of stuff to get ready to like empowering songs and dance around, dance around your bedroom, dance around your bathroom, do whatever you got to do to get psyched up to go spend time with yourself because it's Valentine's day and everyone's putting pressure on getting roses delivered to the office, but you can do that for yourself and getting dressed and showing up the way you want to is the ultimate act of self-love and self-care. So your homework is to take yourself out on a master date. And I want a full report and an outfit photo when you're done. I will talk to you guys next week. And until then, you know the drill. You wear it well. Bye.